Our pinpoint weather team coverage continues now. We told you Sunday about a father and son who had to be rescued by the Coast Guard after setting sail from Rhode Island during this weekend's storm. And tonight we're hearing from the pair for the first time about the frightening experience. My way to news reporter Kelly Sullivan joins us now live in the newsroom with more. Well, that father and son team, they had hoped on ending up on a warm island, but when they lost power and their sail was torn, well, they ended up getting rescued by the Coast Guard off of Nantucket. Like a toy, the Sedona bounced in the waves churned up by the weekend blizzard. We love them. <laughs> the Coast Guard scrambled to save Australians Jason and Reg McGlashan from their boat Sunday, 150 miles south of Nantucket. We did check the weather. Um, also had the Coast Guard come out and talk to us as well and they said, oh, you're going to Bermuda, not a problem. Uh, this boat will outrun the weather. Jason bought the 43-foot sailboat for $10,000 off eBay. He came to Rhode Island two months ago, repairing the Sedona and making her ready for the trip to Australia. Took it out. Everything was working great. Jason, an experienced sailor, and Reg were ready for their first international boating excursion. It was about 24 hours in when things started to slowly go wrong, and at the end, everything skyrocketed. They lost power to the autopilot, and the winter storm took over. The boat did almost get put on its side by two big waves, and that's the main reason that we, we left the boat. Once Coast Guard arrived, rescuers battled the elements. Rescue swimmers put the men into baskets, lifting them into the helicopter. We looked down and thought, Christ, that's rough. Jason still plans to pursue his dream of sailing the oceans. His father says he'll stay on land. About the same as normal. <laughs> And the Sedona is still upright in the water, so Jason hopes to ship her via cargo to Australia for repairs. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.